Hello, this is Leach83. How are we doing? Welcome to Rogers Revolution. This is a quick look at a potential squad that Celtic could line up with next season. Um, it's got a couple of players in there who we have not signed yet and ones who we would like to sign. And a few different things like that. Now, I have spoken about Rogers' potential transfer dealings before. Um, I don't need to go over all of them again. But what I will do on this one is just have a look at the potential how we could line up now obviously with FIFA um, you're restricted to which players you can put where and exactly how they go um, so for that reason some of them is, is not entirely how I think we'll go I've, I reckon we'll either play two ways it's going to be kind of how I've got it here like a 4-3-1-2 type of thing or it's going to be like a kind of 4-3-3 uh, variation um, depending on who we sign. Now, at the moment, Celtic don't really have anybody who can play on the left-hand side. Nobody who is a strict left-hand winger. Um, hence why we have been linked with the likes of uh, Scott Sinclair, who's currently at Aston Villa. Now, Villa want quite a heavy price tag for him. We've also been linked with um, the likes of Nathan Dyer. Now, Nathan Dyer can play on the left, but he's predominantly based on the right, and that is where our Patrick Roberts plays. Um, so, it wouldn't necessarily work out. We've also been like with Shane Duffy as well, so we've got him down there um, also. Um, but he's not in at this 11 that I have in front of us just now. So let's have a look at it and see who we've got then. So um, I reckon Craig Gordon will stay in goals. I don't reckon we'll sign another goalkeeper. I thought we might have done, but it doesn't look as if he's going to go down that road. Um, then we've got Saidi Yanko lining up next to Eric Saviachenko. And I reckon we could potentially get Kolo Turi in. Uh, Brendan Rodgers was very coy about how he answered that one. Um, and you never know what happens. 35 year old, but he would he would absolutely cake walk Celtic uh, uh, Scottish football and do a great job for Celtic so he would and then we've also got Kian Tierney now I reckon he'll obviously keep his place and be our number one left back um, and I reckon we'll, we'll still keep Emilio as a giri, so just need to wait and see when that one in midfield I've went with Joe Allen I don't think we're going to get Joe Allen and the reason being is his stock has went through the roof after his performances in the Euros for Wales I put him in there just for the for the, the the hope more than anything else we'll just need to wait and see how that one goes and that's why i think the formation might differ um i'm just going to swap the two of these round about just now i'm going to go with uh, scott brown in the middle he is the captain um so i reckon that he will at once he's back to being fully fit retain his place in the starting 11 so i put him in there alongside scott allen scott allen again he's been um impressive so far in his pre-season training according to Brendan Rodgers and he is very happy with what he sees he just wants to put his tactical ideas into him and make sure that he knows exactly what's going to be expected of him and then I reckon that we can probably see Tom Rodgers playing a little bit more further forward um, and maybe more of a not necessarily a strict 10 but more along the lines of a 10 and um, hence why I put him in that position and then up front our new number 10 Moussa Dembele signed um, on a free transfer from Fulham we just had to pay a compensation fee of 500000 which wasn't too bad whatsoever uh, for this young lad and then beside him obviously Ree Griffiths um, I reckon with Mr Dembele um, he's, he's very young of course and he's got decent pace on him I know that these are only FIFA stats but in real life he actually does have good pace on him he played really well for Fulham last year um, and I reckon that his next year's next season's card when he's actually got a Celtic badge on it um, I reckon he'll be a bit more higher rated as well so we will see how that one goes but that's the potential 11 um, on the sub bench you've got the likes of Mikael Lustig Chris Commons who may or may not stay at the club um, he is injured at the moment so he's not in Slovenia um, so so it's just one of those things that he's um it's just a matter of proving himself to the gaffer when he gets a chance um the likes of obviously Stuart Armstrong I reckon that he will be in and around the team as same as near Baton um Gary McKay Stephen again he's injured at the moment it, I think his place may be under threat just again by just the, the motions of of what Brendan Rodgers had to say Nadia Chifty took his chance the other day there um and was able to pop up with a goal now back after being out on loan last season um and then obviously Callum McGregor. Now, players that we've not mentioned, obviously Charlie McGrew is technically out of contract with the club, so we just need to wait and see what happens with him. And also, obviously, James Forrest, who is, I believe, 
in my from what I've been hearing and from what I've read and stuff like that, I believe that James Forrest has been told that he's free to look for another club. Um, that's potentially how we see it. We're just need to wait and see how that one pans out. We obviously do have a friendly later on. Um, I like two or three friendlies coming up in the next couple of days, so um, it should be interesting to see how they kind of pan out. And then obviously the likes of Patrick Roberts, who I reckon will be. He, he will be a kind of main man for the team but that's what I'm reckoning if it's a 4-3-3 he would have Roberts on one side with Sinclair on the other one or Nathan Dyer on the other side um, depending on who he brings in and then it'll be like kind of one with one behind uh, it's, it's going to be a, quite a different variation on a 4-3-3 as I say FIFA's quite strict on how you can line them up but anyway this is the team it's not it uh, doesn't look too great on paper right now but these are based on FIFA stats and obviously the chemistry is based on FIFA as well and we'll just need to wait and see I'm going to put them into a game and see how they perform um, t together now obviously like I say it's only FIFA so it's not necessarily how things are this is based on my opinions only um, nothing in here is concrete we'll just need to wait and see the only thing that is definite about this team is that we have signed Mr Dembele and the, the aforementioned players are either with or with not of the club um, and it's just one of those ones that we, we need to wait and see who stays and who goes and who obviously comes in um, it's interesting times but it's still good times and as I say I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Mr Rogers has to do with the team um, and what he puts together and how his philosophy works it should be it should be interesting viewing so let's get into our game then let's finally if once the opponent actually joins now you may have seen a video where it says I was done with Ultimate Team. I am done with Ultimate Team. I can't be arsed with it, but I will play this game um, with this particular team and see how we perform. So, let's see. Up against Egg Fried Royce. And we are up against uh, Aguero, uh, De Bruyne, and Dybala up front. We've got uh, Gaia Touré in there, Nangolan and Marquisio. Get Cliche Company, Manolis, and uh, what do you call it? Mike on the back with quarter and goals. So it's a nice looking team. Um, let's get into the game and see how we get on. Okay, so what we'll do for the change is we'll, we'll do the full game and we'll see how it kind of pans out as I give the ball away with Scott Allen and try and win it back. Now, I've not got the quickest of centre-backs and the quickest of defence in this game, so we may get caught out with the pace of Dybala. Um, but, as I say, that's not reflective of how things are. It's only a game. <laughs> Sadie Yanko just playing it behind there. Yeah. Good save by the goalkeeper. Trying to get it cleared by Kieran Tierney. Kieran Tierney really does play well for a 51 rated uh, right back. Left back even. As the players get in each other's way, Brown should pick it up. Find an Allen. Tom Rogic laying it off to Musa Dembele. Chance to run into the box. Oh, well, skip away. Oh, unlucky with the finish. Lee Griffiths is there. And it's 1-0 with this team. That will do nicely. Obviously, the numbers won't be correct either, so apologies for that. And obviously, Griffiths isn't captain. But you'll know that already. It's just a game, mate. But that was a lovely little shimmy by Dembele. Unlucky with his own finish. But Griffiths there, as always, to finish off. Nicely 1-0. Okay. Opponents quit already. <laughs> We've got a race quit with the Rogers Revolution. Are you kidding me on, man? Well, one he went, uh, we got one opportunity, one goal, and the guy quit right away. Um, so we take our quick little coins from that. I, I don't know what you can expect from that one then. Um, <laughs> it's a quick rage quit. I don't even know what to do here. I think what we'll do is... Um, it's got to be a long video, though. It's, it's a bit long. Um, uh, right, let's quickly get another opponent then, right? Give me two seconds. Okay, so here we are looking for our second opponent then after that first quit. Um, there, we've got a guy using a Celtic kit 
get a guy using Scotland's kit, Corey, so we'll just use our Celtic home kit. And we're up against Jonas for the play, Anderson and Hulk at the forward line. We've got Coutinho, uh, Fernandinho and Hernanes in there. And then we've got Marcelo, David Luiz, Miranda, David Alves and then Julio Cesar in there. It's a nice looking Brazilian team. So let's see how we got on. As the last time we had um, attempted to play the full game, let's see if we can get longer in this one. But just kind of nice to see how we play out. I don't usually do the full games. Um, as I said, this is going to be quite long, but hopefully it'll work out okay. As we get right out of position right at the start. Oh, nice save by Craig Gordon. Should. Oh my god. Said Yanko eventually gets that away. And Scott Allen can bring the ball out. I didn't want a back heel. Back heel. I wanted to pass to Brown there, but it didn't work the way I wanted it. Rodrick. That's terrible. What the hell was that? Oh, you're giving a free kick for what there, man? Eric Savyachenko not clearing the ball right away. Kian Tierney, however, doing really well. Scott Brown. Well, saved by Craig Gordon. Try and get us on our way here. Nice break. Scott Allen. Finding Mr. Dembele. He scored from this position. Well, not this exact position, but from this type of thing from the last game. As David Luiz gives him it back. Let's try the same thing. And we get brought down, surely. No. We've been exposed a little bit at the back. We, again, pace isn't honestly going to be that great. Sadie Yanko's pretty quick. Very good going forward. As he puts the ball through for Tom Rogic to get on to. Tom Rogic muscled out by Marcelo and David Luiz there. We're sitting barely trying to make space. Just close down again. Rogic finding Allen. Well cut out by Colotori. I really, really hope we see Colotori. That'd be awesome. He's just a big beast like that. Superb strength. And the send is on our way. Allen finding them barely. Out wide again, but that's okay. Trying to shimmy and fake in. And we're giving away. How? I mean, that's a free kick. Oh my god, I really hate FIFA. Sadie Yanko up against Felipe Anderson. Oh, I get outdone there a little bit. Nice play, Savio Chenko. He really is a rock. He really is a superb centre half. Oh, well cut out. Scott Allen. Finding Rogic. Chance to run it in defence. Tom Rogic, for some reason in this game, has no pace whatsoever. But he plays really well. Unfortunately, that went. Try to do too much with him. Come on. Brown, Allen, now Rogic again looking for Dembele. He seems to be a really good attacking position in this game. Forced out wide. Chance to run into the box. Nice shot. Just by the post. That's not bad. Good attempt. Well, one back by Tori. Trying to find Mr. Dembele who loses out to Miranda and rolls back to the goalkeeper. Rogic again to Dembele. Poking it through to Griffiths. Lovely little skip away by Lee Griffiths. Oh, he's rattled the post and we've got the free kick. A free kick opportunity for us. A nice shot by Griffiths in the end, hitting the post. <laughs> and David Luiz has been sent off. A little bit harsh. 
but I'm not going to complain. Lee Griffiths standing over the free kick. He has actually got really good free kick stats in game. Um, 89 accuracy he is actually um, our best free kick taker. So let's have a little pop with him and see how we get on. Now do nicely. Lee Griffiths from the free kick, taken very well, floats over the wall into more or less the top corner. Not a wee bit far away from the top corner actually, but keeper can't get there and it's 1-0. Oh, and he's going to quit. Surely he's not going to quit again. We got a little Xbox game clip there for hitting the free kick. Um, I really hope we don't get a quit. Hopefully he's just moving things around because he get the player sent off. Yeah, yes, yeah, so that's okay. Free kicks are really... Get them. Off the ball challenges are really, really, like seem to be happening quite a lot. I'm not getting into challenges, but it seems like the players are just bumping into each other. It's ridiculous. Anyway, give the ball away there. Said the ankle cuts it out. And again, uh, it's this time it's went against my opponent. Felipe Anderson giving away a free kick. Colo Toure to get the ball back into play. And he gives it away. My fault there. Playing is into trouble, it's Hulk. Tramp tip. Oh, that's terrible. I gave the ball away. Cost instigate him on demise there as Philippe Anderson gets it back to one each. Quite disappointing how that kind of worked out. I really should have played the free kick a bit better, but that's just my fault. It's just a wee simple poke into the back of the net. Okay, but we're up against 10 men, so we should be okay as we're to have a little run with Griffiths right from kickoff. Let's go, Alan, come on. Well in. Oh, come on, referee. You can't blow up for everything. Seriously, everything's a, a booking and everything's a free kick, no matter what you do in this game. It's really annoying. That's our ball from there. Rogic finding Dembele. Nice little turn away. Try to get the ball through to Allen, doesn't happen. Logic picks it back up. Back into Scott Allen in the box. Just try to poke it through, it's not happening. Scott Brown tracking back well. Gets us a throw in. I'm really, really getting fed up with this game. It's really frustrating. Come on and take the throw, mate. We've got two choices. Oh, yes. On the chance to counter. Ah, oh, okay. Almost half time. Saviachenko to Brown. Terrible control by Scott Brown. This formation has the midfield playing very narrow. Rely heavily on the likes of Yanko to get forward. Um, which doesn't seem to be happening too great. I never really set up the team like with the attacking settings and what have you, but still doing okay. So it's half time, it's one each. Let's hopefully it's a quick turn around into the second half. You can let me know what you think of this video, leave a wee comment down below if you want if you want me to continue to like like review the squad as we go through or whether after this um Rogers Revolution video you'd rather have just waited until all the transfers were confirmed and then build the team as it is and um, when the summer transfers go through. Um this is just something I thought I would try out and see how it goes. Because at the moment, the FIFA chemistry um, is a little bit up in the air. So you can kind of take advantage with players not necessarily being on full chemistry um, in the game. So that's why I've decided to do this video like this. But um, we'll kind of see how it kind of, how it gets received and how you, what you think about it. And we'll go from there. Okay, let's get in the second half then. Win the ball back, back with Alan. And then immediately give it away. I 
Oh, I just played through this. I just played through this Hulk. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. And it's 2 1. Ugh. Okay. Got plenty of time. I can get back into it. Hopefully, we'll be okay. Up against 10 men, too. We really should be playing a lot better. Too, they tried to make the challenge. If you brought him down, it would have been apparently in a red card. So, didn't want to go full committal because the referee had been blown for everything. Um, it's just one of those things. We've lost out a little bit there. Oh, the Hulk is tearing me apart here. Drawing one it back and then immediately gives it away. Yeah, and Cody pushed forward, looking for a long diagonal. And it's Scott Brown of all people trying to make the run in the middle. Draw one now. Scott Brown. That's a nice play, come on. Just muscled out, outnumbered in the middle there. Alan, finding Alan, then keeping Tierney. Danny Alves makes the challenge. Really difficult, uh, difficult challenge here. Keeping Tierney up against uh, Danny Alves. But like I say, this formation is quite narrow in the middle, so you really do heavily rely on the wing backs. And Kieran Tierney isn't necessarily a wing back at the moment, although he does get forward really well. But as I say, the the way that FIFA plays doesn't let you really represent how a player does play, if that makes any sense. I think I know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> as we give it away again in the middle. Okay, Colo Toure coming out to Danny Alves. That's a way by. Right, we need to get back into this. We've got a wee bit of game time left. You want to imagine you skip away from Colo Toure. Honestly, feel like I'm playing with ten men at the moment. Really, are playing terribly bad the now. Right, chance to counter. Come on, get it under control. Tom Rogic. Let's get Lee Griffiths with him. Back into Allen. Come on. And that manages to get through to Anderson. Good block, and then it's out for a corner. Come on, we're really under the cost here, it's terrible. Goalkeeper should have held that there. So now 69 minutes played, and we've got a corner against this Hernanes to take it. And it's well over. Okay, let's get back into this. Really, really need to get the figure out here. Easy save for Gordon. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick substitution here. I'm going to take off Scott Allen and bring on um, Stuart Armstrong. Um, and that should do is just now. I might bring on Chifty before against finishes. We'll wait and see. Um, but we'll go with we'll go with um, that change just now when the ball goes out of play next. Okay, free kick. So the substitution will be made. So Alan will come off and Stuart Armstrong will come on. He's got a wee bit more pace about him. Um, hopefully we'll do a wee bit okay. So we'll go with this there. Scott Brown to take the free kick. Colo Toure losing out there. Keeping it alive. Now Armstrong. You're missing out, that's just like the second touch, our second touch just isn't there in this game right now. It's Felipe Anderson 
pulling away, but we managed to defend it well. Dembele went in it back. What the hell is that? It was honestly meant to be like a little lob dink pass and it's just not happened. Keepers kept it in though. Behind Armstrong, Tom Rogic trying to get a turn, just Well played, Colo Turi. Finding Dembele and Rogic. Plenty of space for Allen. Playing it through for Griffiths to run on to. Griffiths with a shot and a lovely finish. That team of the season, Lee Griffiths card is just outstanding. Lovely finish to get an equaliser for us. Keeper got a hand to it but not enough and it's two each. Well played, Scott Brown. Griffiths playing it through for Dembele. Oh, he just cut out. Just, just, just. That's great play. Armstrong finding Dembele. Again, that little jinking fake. Dembele just absolutely wrestled to the ground, but nothing given. Corner kick for his 86 minute. Lee Griffiths taking it for some reason. Doesn't matter. Back out to Griffiths. Thinks it back post. Should be Kieran picking it up, and he is. That's a good cross. Oh, Brown closed down quickly. Just need to watch, don't get caught here on the counter. Strong by Eric Saviachenko. Very well played. Are my controllers disconnected? Are you serious? I can't do nothing. I can't do it. I can't do nothing. I need to find my cable. My controller is just... Ah, for fuck's sake. Ah. Oh, fucking hell, man. It's just absolute shit luck. Yeah, the fuck's this cable? we done well to get back into the game and now my batteries have run out. I need to find my charge cable. Very unprofessional. Very, very, very unprofessional. Right. Griffiths hasn't got enough time from kickoff and we lose the game 3-2. I, I'll, nothing I could do about that in the end. My controller batteries died out on me. And it's just one of those things. But anyway, we played well, we've done decent in the end. Um, it was an okay performance, I guess you could say, but I'm just unfortunate with the defeat. Um, but one of those things is just a little chance to try out the team and see how we play. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Apologies, it's been on for pretty long. Um, but if you've stayed to the end, thank you very much. Hail, hail. Goodbye.